What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another reverse 1999 video. Happy Sunday everybody. I got a big one for you today though. So hold on to your horses. Now, if you are like me and you're playing the game with two different accounts, you probably got a five-star, six-star account that you've been maining the whole time. And now I've got my challenge account. Now this here is going to be about Resonant again. I made a video about customizing your own Resonant and now I've got something even better for you guys, okay? A tried and true player that has been playing this game for quite some time uh, went ahead and created a cheat sheet for some of the best builds for Resonant. I want to share this with you guys because this has been tested and tried and it seems to be the best setup for a lot of different characters. So real fast, a quick warning to you guys, this does not apply to four stars and three stars. You guys can use a similar look and feel, but you're going to be missing some of the key pieces. This applies to five stars and six stars only. So there are four different kinds of builds that you can do. There's a balance build, which essentially is characters like Eternity, Voyager, Druvis, A Knight, Sotheby, DK, X, uh, BK, Bloom, and Click. There's probably others in there as well that you can add to that balance sheet. So characters that don't necessarily need crit as their main source of um stat they use more like attack hp etc right so these are the more balanced characters across the board hence the name balanced and then there's of, of course the crit characters crit characters are ones uh, such as centurion uh, we got lila tenant sweetheart and matilda who have crit as their main stat with crit damage to to do massive burst damage as well too right so these are going to be the crit builds there's support units of course who are going to be uh, ones that do buffs debuffs also throw in damage with mass aoe or regular attacks and then defensive are most likely going to be your uh units such as uh pocket healer um miss babel sonita uh, baby blue and balloon party and these units are most of the time just your healers right so the way this works out guys is each level here is going to give you the ability to build a perfect crit for example the crit one crit based on based on your resonance level right so for example at level five these are the most two optimal crit based resonance you can build now these have been tested as well by myself and others and we have seen that these in fact do make a difference so if you're currently kicking on a resonance at level five for any of these crit characters these are the two best builds once you move on to level seven your grid gets bigger you get more of these shapes this will end up being your best one by far and then level eight nine and then ten now as you guys can tell here the shapes are all going to be different and some are going to be reused, right? You guys can see the darker ones are usually being ones that are reused once or twice. Uh, but this right here is your optimal setup for your five and six stars for crit. Okay, moving over to balance. Now balance is a similar look and feel. You've got level five, level seven, right? You guys the same setup here, but difference is the level five balance is the best one. Balance level seven actually has an alt instead. So that works out there. And then you get yourself a level 10. So you're going to bypass 8 and 9, right? Because that stays the same. There's no difference there in terms of its actual um, setup. But level 10, you do change it, right? So if you, I'm going to put this right here for you guys to look at. Feel free to pause it. I'll do it at the end of the video as well. So you guys, gotta, you guys can take a snapshot, whatever you need to do in order to get these. And I'll move my camera on top for you, okay? Actually, let me do that now. I'll be right up here, okay? So you guys can, can see the whole picture. Support, level 5 level seven and then level 10 okay so this is two different things though there's against reality and against mental so depending on what you're doing and who you're facing this is what you want to set up for reality or mental okay so keep that in mind it it is a lot of work guys to rejig it all and i i wish there's a way to actually save your uh your your setups and then you know just configure it in i don't think there is but i'll take a look again just to be safe but these are the two different setups you want to do based on the enemies you're fighting in limbo most likely right and then lastly defensive right here defense has one real good setup from there you just put whatever you feel is right for your your actual characters okay so there it is guys i'm gonna again go back to the start here and now that my window's all the way up top Take a quick look here. Take a snapshot of this, okay? So here's the characters, right? You got all your balance characters, got all your crit characters, all your support characters, all your defensive, usually your healers or shielders. And then here, go ahead and take a snapshot of this so you guys can get a full look of it all. So I'll wait for you to do that. I'll move my, my mouse out of the way. And then I'll move this over just a tad bit so you guys can get the defense one as well. Okay, pause it, do your thing. And now I'm going to go back and I'm going to put it down here 
and you guys can grab these ones here, level eights, nines, tens, okay? I'm gonna move it over just a tad bit so you guys have the support one as well, and feel free to build it. Okay, so the next part here that I wanna talk about is my challenge account, unfortunately can't do the same thing. And I'll show you guys what, I'm, what I mean here. Level, like the four, four and five star, or four and three star characters don't have the same shape. So I have a level nine Pavia here, okay? So I'm gonna actually try to build this with you guys. Let's build him balanced. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. Uh, he's a level 9, so we don't have... Actually, you know what? Let's build him crit. Level 9 right there. You guys see you have the crit right there, right? So you're going to notice a couple things. He's going to have some similar shapes and some shapes that don't exist. So let's click on this, and let's do this together. So first shape we're going to do is we're going to do this shape right there, the top one, okay? So I'll show you guys how to build it on your side as well. I believe it's this one that we're looking at, right? So let's go back to here. Right, you guys see that? Same shape, okay? Or right, right here, sorry, level nine. Now we're gonna look for this one. So it's an, it's an L shape with the same, same design. So it's this one here, and it goes right there, right? Again, going back to this, there's the build, and then another one of those next. So go back up, find this, put this in here, and now you've got that part completed, right? So we've got the level nine, this part's done. So now I need to find this shape. And you're going to see here eventually I'm going to get to a point where I actually can't find all the same shapes because they don't exist for this character. Because it's a 4 star versus a 5 star. So I need uh, an arrow, a point, and a tr uh, triangle. Arrow, point, triangle. Okay, so that's this one here. There we go. Okay. And then I need this one here, which is two shapes with an arrow pointing down. So let's see if I can find that. There it is. Arrow pointing down. We got that one. That's good. And then we have this one here which I'm not going to be able to find anywhere, right? So you guys can look and look everywhere for that one. You're not going to find it. So these are the kind of shapes I'm talking about that are missing from these characters, right? See, like, look at that. Nothing there. This shape here, which is the primary shape, you guys see it's actually, if you look above on the, on the spreadsheet, it's actually this little cross. It doesn't exist for the four stars or this three-star character. So I have to kind of pick and choose what I want there. But the rest of it I could still do. So if I go back here again and I do this, Right, I believe that's how that one is. Level nine, right there, yeah, perfect. Another arrow with that right there. So let's go find a second one of that one, if I have it even. Do I have a second? I don't have a second copy of that either. See, that's what I mean. So four star and five star characters, unfortunately, don't get the same luxury as as the, uh, sorry, the, the, fi the, four, the four and three star characters don't get the same luxury as the five and six star characters. So you are actually losing out a little bit more by using characters that aren't um, higher tier in the rankings. Not only in stats, but also in resonance. So that alone right there, guys, can obviously cause a fairly big issue for you if you're looking to build a specific kind of unit, right? So keep that in mind as you're building this, that you may want to consider redoing your, um, your thought process on, on doing only three and four star challenge if you're taking this fairly seriously, right? Because again, you're not able to actually fully utilize a lot of the game's um, resonance because of that, right? So if I do this, I'm missing one piece right there. So what I would hear, do instead here is put the critical damage, increase that, uh, take away one of these, put in HP and damage bonus. Actually, no, that would actually stay. So this is what it would look like for me without, without this extra stuff here, right? It's kind of the same but it's also kind of not because I'm missing extra pieces that normally the five and six stars have. So if you're gonna be building a three and four star guys, you're gonna to have to make some alterations, but nonetheless, it still does give you a fairly good thing, like 18% crit, 142 attack, 693, 13% damage bonus, etc. right? This most likely will be a better build than what I had before and will probably help me do a lot more damage. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope this helped you out. This, I think this is a fantastic uh, guide. So again, go back, take your snapshots, do it again, uh, and set up your resonance. And I promise you guys, you will see a pretty big difference on your five and six star characters. All right, guys, this is Payne. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.